Okay. Uh, thank everyone for coming. It's a late hour. The, uh, we're holding in the, uh, in the four parishes, except that this week we have a break. Right? And it always works out that way, that the, there's never four parishes straight. There's always one week where there's a break. Yeah, because that special period for the Shabbos between the Dalai Parshish. Yeah, I know, I know. That's why I stopped being Yekish. Yeah, sure. <laughs> there's only one thing to hold on to. Hoshana Shalosh shows. <laughs> That's one thing a Yekka never parts with. All the other Minhagim washing before Kiddush, yeah, but Shalosh shows. It's Kaddish Kaddish. Especially Frankfurt. Frankfurt, Almain, they wash before Kiddush. Yeah. Everyone does it. Okay. Yeah, we, you know, we do it on Sukkot. Yeah, we do it on Sukkot because it's such a pain to make Kiddush. Yeah. So we wash before we go down to Sukkot. Once a year, we're good Yekkis. Yeah. 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 Except for Shalosh shows. I spoke about it in Sweet Monk's uh, Ufra. All right. Right. It was a very well received. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the um, so, so, so actually, yeah, there's 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 always one week where there's a break. So there's a chidushia rim. It says something very interesting. That's Roy Lee's boning, and he says that the uh, he, he brings the chazal that Rashi brings in the, the beginning of uh, Sefer Vayikra. Lemayu revachas mishamshos. You know, Kodesh Baruch used to teach Moshe. You know, Ben, you know, uh, the Parshish, and then there will be a Revach, right? He'll give him, uh, you know, a break. And that, and connected that is also the break, you know, between Parshish, you know, the blank space. It's Marsh connected the Revach that. So he says, the Mayo Revachos Mishash, let's say Moshe Revach Ben Parshal, Parshal, he's burning. As end of having a break, is have space to, uh, to think. Right? You have to have a. Uh, Right, Revach ben Parsha partially is boning, and he says that that Mimela he wants to sh- taina that that's the role of the the week that uh, where there's a break like this year it's this week uh, that the uh, that you should uh, you know have a space to think, right? and then he goes he takes it one step further that you know well, a function of space to think, right is the um, is to do tshuva because it's uh, the pasuk says. Ulavavo Yavin, the Shav Verafalo. That you, your heart understands. Mikoch understanding, you, you do chiva. So he says that that's the uh, you know, that's the function. That's the avod of the week where there's no one. You have a break from the Avra Parshas. It's a revach ben partially is bonein and and his boninus leads to chiva. Yeah, I can't borrow what I saw brought down. Right you know, to uh, right to maybe so first of all, you know, uh, before we even. Uh, Get any deeper, it just happens to work out very nicely with that. It, this week's parsha is the parsha of the break. Because say it's, you know, it's Revach ben Parsha, Parsha Lee's Bonain, which is a function of the heart. So, what's the, how does the parsha open up? You know, it's, uh, right, call Nadiv Lev, right? It's all about Nadivus Lev, benevolence of heart. The Homish comes built on benevolence of heart. And for benevolence of heart, you need, uh, you, know, you need space to think. You know, when you're caught up and they say, you know, benevolence, you, you think about how, you know, give it thought and, uh, you know, get into that zone of thinking, a chesed de zone. But you need, you need time to think when you're caught up in your day-to-day. You don't, uh, you don't go into that zone of the diva slave. You need uh, space to think. <coughs> the, um, right. But the, uh, the end is that the, um, right, the, uh, you know, the uh, how's it, the what do I say? <coughs> you know, the 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 tzara of golos right, is that uh, you know we we don't have space to think, and that's also it's very you know in the Etzim word tzara is Russian tsar. Tsar, narrow, and that's also you know, the first golos was mitzrayim, meitzar, right. Min hametzar karosika anani ba merchavka, right? And that's the revach ben parsha revach lizbonein. Right? The the biggest problem with the golos is that we have no time, you know, you know, being from place to place and from tsar to tsar. Right, exactly. Like Paro said, you know, they don't give him time to think, right? Agav yo. You know, they, they say when a person's speaking, if something pops into his head, he should speak it out. It's Minashamayim. That, uh, 
it's a, it's, it's a good tashtoch for, uh, for this door. The, uh, I heard this from my brother. I can't remember who he heard it from. I heard this like decades ago. That uh, once in Hebron Yeshiva, like decades and decades ago, whenever they, uh, they felt they needed a change of pace. Right? So they decided maybe to learn Zvachim. So, uh, so was, they never, but it was never on the regular machzor of Mesech the Svachim in Hebron. So they felt like this, they should do a Goral Agro. So they did, right, so they did a Goral Agro, and, and it came out in the Pesach, Nir Pim Atem, Nir Pim Aken Atem, Omim Lechon Niz Bechal Lelo Right? <laughs> right. right. So that's the thing. Right. And that was said decades ago. That's any yeshiva that wants to track Bachar. I learned Start learning Kachim. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, but that's it. But that was, that was, that was why Power also was Tich Bada Avoda. You know, they shouldn't have time to think. Right. So I once heard, you know, uh, I heard from a friend of mine, a friend of mine, Ravaria Hendler, that today is this Gan Roshiva and uh, Shalavim. But I think, he, I think he, he saw it somewhere else. I think he saw it in Shkama Dumani Shem Mishmur, right, to a, a Hezber in... Um, and that which we says, Umoi so shte Shabbos is miyad ayu nigolin. Because Shabbos is, is the time when, you know, whether you like it or not, you know, you're forced to break from your routine. Right? You're supposed to, you know, whatever, 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 you know, whatever preoccupies you, you know, you're supposed to stop from it. It's from Malacha. And then came the Nevi'im, Vaiter, and we're goizer, Mitzor Chatzcha Midaber Dover. You're not even allowed to talk about what you do during the week. You know, so, so, it, 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 so it's totally off your mind, right? <coughs> and then you have a chance to think, right? And you could be mizboine. And Shabbos is like mamish the rebach that there is during the week to be mizboine, right? And 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 once you could be, you know, once you have this his boninus, right? What's so funny? That's why in Bnei Brak on Tuesday they close the shops at two o'clock in the afternoon. They need the rebach to be mizboine. Right, <laughs> right, right. So, uh, the uh, right. so you could think out of the box, right? And, right, and that, that's what you know, the Gemara says. Call me sheish bodas kilu nivna beis hamitosh biyamav, right? And lumatzor call me sheim bodas lasof golem im koma. They're both on the same, uh, you know, uh, page in the Sanhedrin. If you don't have das, you're going to lose your position. Right? Your mind's going to go into go, so you're going to lose your position. But if you have das, as if there's a base hamikdash in your own days, and on Shabbos we could break through. And if we have two Shabbosos, because the klal is a man is where his mind is. You know, and the uh, and they say the name of the Baal Shem Tov, right? Where is a person? Where his thoughts are? Uh, but Lama said the Rambam had already said in the Mor Nevuchim, right? In the Prokiman Hashgacha. That the more you think about a Baruch Hu, the more he is with you. And a guy who has his mind on a Baruch Hu constantly, he's he's under God's protection, right? And a person who never thinks about a Baruch Hu, a Baruch Hu abandons him. In other words, the same thing. That, that's what it means. That you know, you are where your thoughts are. You know, which your real position, what we call madrega. Like, what does it mean? Two people, two people keep halacha equally. What puts a per- and everyone's have to keep halacha. What puts a person on a higher madrega? I mean, he's on a higher madrega than me. If two people are, you know, keep halacha to a T, what it means? It means that a person, one person's thoughts are higher. And that's what puts them in a different level, a different kurva with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. It goes, you know, what are you doing with your mind? What's on your mind? Right? And uh, the, uh, you know, during the, you know, during the Tsar of Golos, is Tsar, and when it's made Tsar, you don't have room to think. You don't have room to think and, and, and that's the matzav of goals. So that's what causes silu kadas, and, so, and, and it gets worse and worse. Mm-hmm. You know, your goals gets worse. Like Mitzora. Right. Kind of. Interesting. It is, you know, uh, in Targum, the Mitzora is called Sagiru. And it's closed off. It's interesting. Yeah. Be'emes, you know, the very first thing I learned from Moshe Shapira years ago when I first met him, all those years ago, he said, you know, what's Tuma and what's Tara? He asked me. Yeah, I don't know. My man, you know, I'm not Says, Tame, a shorish that tetmem, kmo tamun, kmo tum tum, atum, sagur, menutak, cut off, sealed off. 
Tara, again, Tzor Tasela Teva, as a Targum Omer, Tihara. And he said, Tumas closed, Tara is open. So I sealed off. So, uh, so it's much like you all say, that's correct. Right, uh, you know, being, uh, things being closed off, and because they're closed off, they're also disconnected from the big picture. Right, that, that's where, that's, that's Tzara, Milshin Tzar. That's Minham, that's the Meitzar. Right, we need to go from the Meitzar al Merchav. But going from Meitzar Merchav is not with your body, it's with your mind. That's how you go from that Tzar el Yeah. Right? And going by Merchav. Right. That's it. That's Merchav. And that's, you know, and the, but you, you got to go there with your mind. And if you go there with your mind, Mimela. Reality follows suit. So if Charles, if Charles Agid, you know, we could say a that the, uh, you know, the, uh, when a person does tshuva, ulevavo yavin v'shav v'rafalo, it's, it's about like, you know, uh, getting back in touch with reality. You realize you're out of the game. You fell out. Right? What am I doing with my, you get the big picture again, and what, what am I living for? What was I created for? What's my whole purpose? Why was I born? I mean, what's my purpose in life? That when you did the chet, you weren't thinking any of that. You were just thinking, focused on your taiva, right? And therefore, levavo yavin v'shav v'rafalo, your maven davar v'toktavar, your mind expands, you see the big picture, you're like, oh man, I'm missing it, you know. And you get realigned because you see the big picture. You see, you know, the rosh sof, tochen sof. Right? That's, that's why it's why it's shiva. And the same thing also when, when coming to build the mishkan. Right? It wasn't about building a house. It wasn't about building a house. You know, it, it's about, you know, it's about uh, bridging the olamas, you know, olamazer with the olama elyon. It's the big picture. So, you know, it's not about just following an architectural plan. Right? That's what it says, that B'tzala was, you know, Chok Mubino Das, that Yodeya B'tzal Satsarif Osir Shubrem Shemaim Varetz. He had the whole technology of the whole Mitzias because uh, the Mishkan was a mini world. It had to be built with moichin the godless, you know, with a big perspective. If you build it as a house, it'll be a house. You build it with the perspective that it's a mishkan, it's a mishkan, you know, the mind is, is ikr. And that's why it had to be built in the divusev, a big heart, you know, with big thoughts, big thoughts. Not just it should be a mandatory tax, but people should be, think <laughs> and, and be toch, you know, be toch in the divusev, be toch, leave, give and contribute. You know, and then, then, it's, then it's like, it's a big project. Mitzad, the, the godless of Machshava that went into it. So he had, he you know, was a very big person. He knew all the technology of Chochma Bidas, like the Olam was never, but Chochma Tzvuna Vidas. Right? But the Pashti, it didn't have to be, so also with their Meichin, the godless, Nediva slave. Think big. Think big. You give as much as, you know, it wasn't mandatory. You think. And you decide. And you think big, you know, and it should be, you know, with, you know, godless hamoichen, godless hamoichen, right? And that's why, the, you know, the, uh, you know the, the Indian of the transition of the Arba Parshas is, you know, uh, from Shkolem until Parshas Achor, Shachor Zeh Lachem, right, uh, which is Marsh Keneged the Geula, and Chidush, Medrash Rav says, Atkele Achor Shach Chidush, bringing new things to the world, right? <coughs> right? That, that's not a simple, you know, four-step transition. Yeah, there are four parshias, right? But, the, but, it, but it's not like, you know, four steps this way. It's four steps that way, right? And that's why you have to have at least one part where there's a break, to be misboning. That's not like four steps. There's it's, it's four steps on flat space. You're going different dimensions. And so to make that journey, you need godless demoichen, Right? Don't think linearly. Think, you know, four-dimensionally. Right? And that's why you have to have a break. One time to think. One time to think. And that's, you know, and the godless hamoichen. And, and that's what's going to, you know, that's what's going to get us out of the gullus. What's going to get us out of the gullus is when we finally realize that this is not normal. Life as we know it is not normal. It's not the way life was meant to be. Just like the Baal Shiva understands the ways, he finally comes to the realization that the way he's living life is wrong, and it's really out of touch with reality. Am Yisrael as an Am has to understand that our Matzav currently is not the way it was meant to be. But if you don't think that, you think this is normal and just, you know, Mashiach's epis, uh, yeah, it's, it's a free, yeah, it's something icing on the cake, but it's not. 
All right, so, so if you think this is normal, we'll be stuck here. Because it all goes with the perception. You think it's normal? Sakharov says, okay. You think it's normal? I'm going to keep on giving it to you. Because you think it's normal. Right? You finally expand your mind, saying life is much more. There can be many more dimensions to life. Dimensions of Kedusha and Tahara, way above what we know and way above the world is. That normal is not normal at all, is not the way life was meant to be. That's what's going to get us out of goals. Right? And Shabbos is particularly misugal for that. That's what it says, you know, you know, it's hard to be Shabbos Raglacha, right, and you know, you keep all the drabonans of not even speaking divrei chol on Shabbos, so your mind is only a Kedusha, right? Right, so that's Rachal Ticha Nachas Yaakov Avicha, and the Gemara says, you know, what's Nachas? Believe Mitzorim, no boundaries. You get out of the Katnus the Moichen, you get out of the Katnus the Moichen. So that's the end of Shabbos Bechlau, that's the end of this Shabbos Befrat, and that, that's where you reach Nadiva Slave. Big heart. Big heart. Not thinking small, thinking big. And right, that's the Iker Nitzachen over Amalek and the Golas. Right? Is their, their, their koach over us is that we think they're normal. We think that life under them is normal. And that's the biggest Golas, that you think it's normal. And the way out is that with your mind. And Ramchal writes this in the Das Tavros. If only a certain critical, he writes this in Das Tavros before. If only a certain critical number of Yidin at the same time would, you know, Yimasu betam, you know, betamus enayim, uh, they'll be disgusted with the illusion that this is normal, understand, this is not right. Mashiach will come right then. Right. We're in Gauls because of our state of mind, right? Gauls is more state of mind than anything else. It's the, sta- the geopolitical state is a result of the state of mind. We change our state of mind, we'll get us out of here. And that's what, you know, again, we have to always bring it back to our president. We have to have L'chaim to Donald Trump and the Republican Party. <laughs> That's what I do. Right? The, uh, I'll explain this to you in a second. Right? All right. Uh, That's the war he's, tr- he's up against, the war against the fake news and the media. It's a, it's a battle of perception. Right? You know, well, what's right, what's wrong, what's more, what's immoral. It's mamish. It's a culture conflict. This is more than anything else. You know, the like, it's a battle of ideas and ideology and perception, what's normal, what's not normal, what's called kind, what's not what's called to be cruel. Right? I said, mm-hmm. the, Liberals saying we have to, America has to self destruct in the name of kindness. Is that, that's not called kindness, it's called recklessness. It's a whole battle of, you know, deus. Right? Russia should help our president, right? You know, Unzra Achashverosh, right? And, 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 to Unzra Esther Ivanka, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> that we should have seen Nisan the flaws. <laughs> you know, right? Right? Like Bayamahem Bazmanazeh. Amen. Amen.